So if you guys aren't following um, Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis, which I have to say, and I'll never, uh, no one has ever agreed with me on this. I think me, like Mila Kunis is atrocious looking. Really? I think she is, looks like a little goblin. And I've said wow. this, dude, I have said this since I was a kid when she was on se- that 70s show or whatever. That 70s show? Yeah. And yeah. I'm, dude, all my friends are like, dude, she's so hot. And I'm like, she looks like a little goblin. Um, Interesting. Never, yeah. Um, but anyways, her and old Ashton Kutcher released a video today. Now, this video, um, I need to give some context to this. So um, there was a man that was also on that 70s show, okay, with Ashton Kutcher. Very important. This and man is named Danny Masterson. Danny Masterson was recently convicted of um, two women. Okay. Now, there's a lot that goes into this, Scientology, all that good fun stuff. But at any rate, he was convicted and uh, ch- I think sent to prison for 30 years. Right. So um, Ashton Kutcher and Mia Kunis, they released an apology video about this situation but why are they apologizing very important why would they apologize well it turns out they were sending letters to the judge pressuring and pleading to to uh make things lighter for their friend danny who had had great people um and then now there's all kinds of footage coming out about ashton kutcher um simping over like 14 year old girls which is really creepy so that sucks I've kind of like always kind of liked Ashton Kutcher a little bit. Um, goofy. He's kind of charming in a goofy way. Except for that one show he did, Punk. I, he, he, I like the show, but God, he, I, just, he, I just wanted to slap him so much in that show. <laughs> God, punk, he, he. I'm just like, kill him. <laughs> Punch him. <laughs> With his stupid him. hat. Oh, Reckon Knight says, Camelot, I think you're sexy and you got some great pecs. Thank you so much, Reckon Knight. I love you, dude. I also think that about you. I told you in person recently. Let's pull up this video of Ashton Kutcher and Mia Kunis. And we're gonna we're gonna watch this, and I want you guys to see these fools. How dare you? Now look, people in the chat are bringing this up as well. It's Hollywood, man. Like this is what they do. I mean, and it's not changed. Um, uh, Millie Bobby Brown, that's her name, right? She was in Stranger Things. Mm-hmm. Completely unrelated, but it gives you some context for what we should expect out of Hollywood. She was doing like full like like magazine spreads in like almost pasties when she was like 13 okay? oh god so like i mean we should expect this there's movies that have tons of actresses that are 13 and nude like throughout the 70s 80s 90s lolita things like that so i mean it's it's a hollywood thing man i mean look they still give they they gave roman polanski a standing ovation when he won an oscar for the pianist in like 2008 or three or whatever i can't remember the date but he won an Oscar. Of course, he couldn't be there because he was convicted for 12, 14, and 15-year-old in like 1978. Yeah. So he's not in America. He's in Poland because he can't come here because he'll be thrown in jail. But of course, they gave him a standing ovation for winning an Oscar. That is Hollywood in a nutshell. So, and Hollywood has the audacity to tell us to be better. That's what pisses me off. Yeah, They get on their high horse and they're like, oh, you know, you, you people are transphobic and they have the audacity to sit there and tell us that we need to be better and do better. It's like, how about you take a look at yourselves, you f***s? Yeah, they will like sit there in their mansions and like during yeah, COVID and be like, imagine no possessions, uh, like right inside their Ferrari. And I'm like, yeah, imagine no 12 year olds. Yeah. How about that? Can you imagine that? And they're like, no, please don't take away the children. We love to have them. <laughs> All right, um, let's play. Let's play this for the video. I like that they have an accent. <laughs> That's what they sound like. <laughs> yeah. That's what celebrities sound like. Oh, please do not take the children away. We love to rape them. We are aware of the pain that has been caused by the character letters that we wrote on behalf of Danny Masterson. Also, can you pause this just like for one second? I'm sorry, we just started it and I feel like (laughs) I haven't even 10 seconds in. The looks on their faces, these phony ass actor look of contrition that they have on their faces right now is so (laughs) insulting. Look at her, gosh, she's a goblin. Uh, She's a goblin, bro. Look at her goblin. Looks a little bit like my sister. (laughs) Goblin as hell. Look at her. Oh, whatever. We have done this historically through our work and will continue to do so in the future. A couple months ago, Danny's family reached out to us. I love how it's like so scripted. It's like yeah, they, they can't do anything without a script in front of them because like hey, a good example of this is um, Brie Larson. She tried starting a YouTube channel when COVID hit 
And it was like, she's like, huh, huh, I don't know what I'm doing. Huh, I don't even know how to work these cameras. Huh, huh. And it's like all professional looking. And she's just lying and like reading a script. And it was so awkward. <sighs> it was weird because it took her like a while to get like a couple hundred thousand subs. And she's like an A-list celebrity and couldn't even right. be following. Like, Do you think it would be like a million? But sometimes I feel like this about some celebrities, obviously not all of them, but you'll watch interviews with them sometimes. And it almost seems like if they're not acting, they don't know how to be a person. Yeah. Like they don't know who they themselves are. Yeah, Again, exactly. They not well, all of them, but let's be fair, they don't really have personalities. <laughs> like um except for Chris Pratt, he's great. And they asked us <laughs> to write character letters to represent the person that we knew for 25 years. All right, hold on, hold on. Hold on. To so in the future. Hold on. A couple months ago, Danny's family reached out to us and they asked us to write Okay, so it's not their fault. They're saying it's not us. Danny's family told us to do this, and we, for some reason, completely uh, did it without any question. <laughs> They're like, "Yeah, we knew this guy for twenty five years. He wouldn't grape anyone. I mean, I know he did, but he he wouldn't. He definitely wouldn't write character letters to represent the person that we knew for twenty five years, so that the judge could take that into full consideration relative to the sentencing." The letters were not written to question the legitimacy of the judicial system. A, a little quick of a segue here. Um, me, Mila Kunis, there's a reason why she's not in a lot of stuff, and it's because she's a terrible actress, and you can see it right here. It's so jarring when she reads. <laughs> she sounds like she's reading a cue card. Like, it's so rough. Man. Or the validity of the jury's ruling. They were intended for the judge to read um, and not to undermine the testimony of the victims or re-traumatize them in any way. We would never want to do that. And we're sorry if that has taken place. Our heart goes out to every single person who's ever been a victim of sexual assault, sexual abuse, or rape. She's not even looking at the camera. She's like looking we up away from We are aware camera. of... Yeah, yeah. It's funny um, because <clears throat> what I always say in these situations is um, apologizing just makes you look more pathetic. I mean, I agree. You, you already did the thing. You did the thing. Now just take your lumps and move on. But they're like... We have to sit in front of a camera and awkwardly sigh and be like, we did a thing and we're sorry we did the thing. It's like, bro, you're sorry because you got caught doing the thing. Exactly. Of course. You never would have said anything. If you didn't get caught, you think they'd come out and make a video and be like, so we did this thing. We've been feeling really bad about it. No, they would never say anything. No, no, no. And <laughs> Bush, as this is their best take. I wonder how many times they filmed it. Yeah, it was awful. Yeah. This yep. dude is, is atrocious, atrocious as hell. Um, Fidelio says, imagine if they if he won the case, then nobody would be apologizing. No, Fidel, you're hundred percent right, Fidelio. If he would not, if he would have won the case, that this would have never come to light. They'd yep. be like, Woo, let's let's more. That's what they'd have done. Because it's that's what you do in Hollywood, man. You, you give it the give it the good old fashioned grape. And honestly, man, with the exception of like Jack Black and Chris Pratt, I it's hard to even like even like my heroes, like people that like like Jack Black, I'm terrified to like meet this man. Um, and like you know what I'm saying? Like I'm terrified that something's gonna come out and he's gonna be like, Oh, he's also a dick bag. Everybody's it's, a dick bag. That's the unfortunate thing. And that's the hard part about idolizing people and why you really shouldn't do it, because everybody is just people. <laughs> like that's really all it comes yeah. down to. Some people are better than other people, but people even the good people are gonna make mistakes. And there's I'm sure there's stuff that someone will come out and say about me and been like, she did this really shitty thing, and I'll look back on it and be like, Yeah, that was shit. yeah. Cause we're all just mistaken our way through life. Like you're not trying to hurt people. Well, some people are, and some people yeah. actively don't care. But I think even people who are aren't trying to hurt other people inevitably do. That's just part of life. And it's not like you're necessarily a bad person for that, but it's why it's hard to idolize people and why you should not. <laughs> yeah. Um, Drew says, he, this reminds me, he says, they are not, they're in normal <laughs> people though, so believe them. Yeah. Remember when, uh, when Mark Ruffalo went down to the uh, SAG strike and was wearing like some sweats and a shirt that had holes in it. And I'm like, what do you, what is this? Are you supposed to look homeless or something? <laughs> yeah. And like, come on, this isn't making me think you're a man of the people. It's like, you have so much money, buy some clothes that don't have holes in them. Yeah. Yeah, stop being weird. 